Hey everybody, this is Justin with the Away in the Wilderness channel. Uh, just wanted to start off by telling you thank you uh, for all of the support that you guys have given me thus far. I'm um, really trying to get the channel up and going and putting a lot more work into it. Um, but today I'm out here uh, at a local lake with uh, my wife and kids and we're just out on a little, a little hike, uh, just kind of hanging around the lake for the day. But I uh, wanted to go over with you guys what I like to carry on a little hike like this or just a little day hike um, and a lot of times this pack will also uh, go with me kind of in and out of different packs um, but there's always pretty much the same items I carry in here and I really enjoy seeing what other people carry uh, when they're out on their treks on their scouts on their day hikes on their bushcraft trips anything like that so I hope to get into more a little bit of these type of videos uh, so um, again, I just want to say thank you for all of the support that uh, we've received on the channel so far. And I'm going to get the uh, camera situated and we'll jump into what I carry in my haversack. All right, let's, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into it here. So i got just, a, um, just an oil skin uh, haversack and uh, it's a pretty simple pack, uh, just one flap one just bucket style pack and I really uh, prefer those type of packs so you're not searching through a lot of um, a lot of different pockets and zippered areas and things like that it becomes real easy to uh, uh, kind of lose track of things so I really prefer these type of bucket style packs where you're, everything's just in there and uh, I do keep uh, certain things uh, in individual pouches and things like that to keep certain items separate uh, so you don't have too much kind of flopping around and 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 all that sort of thing so uh, I'm gonna jump right into it though so first of all uh, I always keep a couple of snacks I really love these uh, fatty sticks these are probably my favorite it's a little protein uh, I got some uh, planters um, honey roasted peanuts also my favorite so uh, just a couple little things I keep in here to have a little snack or something while we're out uh, so First thing, some kind of a cover element. You're always gonna want something just in emergencies. I actually recently did a video. This is the uh, T60 emergency shelter uh, from Coal Cracker Bushcraft. These are really great. I have a, a few of these. My wife keeps one in, in her pack, but uh, just for an emergency situation, or I've even done overnighters in them, but um, really lightweight, really small, compact, uh, folds up into itself. Just a really good piece of gear to keep in a small pack like this. Jumping into my container and slash uh, eating and drinking utensils. So just have a um, titanium bottle and nesting cup. And it fit really nicely just on the side of the pack. But just something to uh, boil water if you need to in an emergency. Uh, just having a 32 ounces of water on you always a good idea to have a little bit of water on you and then I just keep a little Yuko um, fork slash spoon in there so that's kind of my uh, canteen um, and I keep also just a little uh, one wind uh, just a little ground mat it's maybe three foot by two foot just a real small ground mat to uh, if you wanted to throw some throw some things on top of or uh, sit on top of if you didn't want to get the dirt all over your backside or anything so I keep that in there always keep a spare blade in there uh, this is the Mora companion I believe it's the HD looks like I need to do a oh no just some oil don't really use a lot of this stuff too much it kind of just stays in here uh, for emergency purposes for the most part uh, have a sail needle, um, just duct taped with some Gorilla Tape to the back of it. Keep that in there just for a spare uh, blade, a spare cutting tool. Always have a little bit of cordage. Um, anybody, a lot of this is going to be real familiar with you guys who are uh, kind of in the bushcraft scene, but uh, just a little 100 foot roll of number 36 bank line. Can never uh, have enough cordage on you.
And I just keep a uh, orange bandana and wrapped up inside of that orange bandana, I keep a uh, three tent stakes to set the uh, shelter up into a uh, plow point if I wanted to. But generally I set it up in a lean-to configuration. So just keep a few tent stakes in there and wrapped up on the inside, just a couple pieces of fat wood. That all wraps up nice and neat right here inside of the uh, bandana. This is uh, just a little fall, uh, small uh, folding saw. This is the uh, Silky Pocket Boy. Just uh, another extra blade. Always nice to have a little small saw. You can get so much work done with a saw that's gonna be a lot more difficult to do with just, uh, just a knife. So always nice to have that in there. Real small and compact, so it fits in there real nice. And down on the one side, just keep a extra pair of work gloves. These do not see much use because I'm not really um, on on small hikes and things like that. These are just in case I had to uh, uh, or wanted to, I guess, wanted to do uh, clear out some brush or um, you know do a little woodwork or anything like that. If I was going to be messing around a whole lot, I'd whip those out. And then. Last couple things in here, just a couple pouches. This one here, uh, these are both just some wax canvas, uh, waxed canvas, excuse me, zippered pouches. And uh, in the one, I just keep uh, a small headlamp, just an LL Bean headlamp. I want to say that thing's maybe a hundred and hundred, hundred fifty lumens. Uh, nothing too crazy, uh, but always nice to have some sort of light you know when you're out just in case you you happen to get caught you know out and it got dark on you and then also just some spare uh batteries in there but that is it in that pouch keep that in there this other pouch i kind of is uh for the most part it's just a fire kit but i do also have just uh some gorilla tape just a couple uh couple things of Gorilla Tape in there just kind of wrapped around itself small and compact and it fits in here with a small uh, Mylar uh, emergency space blanket that fits in there real nice and neat keep this separate just a big lighter with a little bit of hemp wick tied to it uh, you can light that and kind of save your fuel if you're uh, having to light something that's taking a little bit longer to light these are some uh, mini infernos. These are always great to have. Something real quick, you don't have to fool around. Some, uh, just some cotton mixed with some, uh, some wax and uh, an accelerant on the outside. Always good, just crack one of these open, get you a fire going. They, I think they stay lit for upwards of 10 minutes or so, maybe even longer. Uh, but I've used these a lot. I keep these in a lot of my packs. So just keep something for an emergency fire. This is going to be just a, uh, a brass match case. I have some just some regular Strike Anywhere matches and also some uh, stormproof matches, some Yuko stormproof matches. But uh, And then I also keep this in here because on the top of it just has a little compass. So give you general direction, things like that. So I keep that in there in that same little pouch. This is just going to be a couple packs of Propel and a pack of Instant Folgers Coffee. My lid to my uh, nesting cup in my canteen. And then last but not least in here, it's going to be a ferro rod with a little bit of Gorilla Tape wrapped around one end. And uh, always have to have one of these on you. So let me uh, zoom in on this for you so you guys can get a, a closer look at what I keep in my haversack.
All right, thanks again everybody for joining me to go over this video uh, and the contents of my haversack. Uh, in my opinion, the haversack is the most versatile, comfortable uh, thing that you can carry on a small scout, a trek, a day hike or something like that. Um, I just think it's, it's, it's very comfortable and easy to access your gear, very lightweight. This stuff all together with the full 32 ounces of water can't weigh more than four pounds if I had to guess uh, but yeah always just important to uh, keep some items on you uh, if you're going out on a short day hike or something like that you're going going out into the woods just on a short trek or a scout or something uh, I think it's very important to keep a few items on you uh, in the off chance that an emergency happens uh, because they do happen and people do get stuck out overnight and unfortunately people do lose their life unnecessarily because they didn't have a few emergency items on them so uh, I would just highly encourage you to keep some things and uh, doesn't necessarily have to be exactly what I keep but uh, just to, to keep some things on you that'll help you get by in an emergency and I'd like to know what uh, what some of you guys carry uh, in your haversack or in your day pack or anything like that and uh, open to suggestions if you think that I'm missing something uh, please leave that in the comment section below and if this is the type of content that you like if you like camping bushcraft uh, outdoor uh, just general outdoor activities uh, gear reviews uh, things like that please uh, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button I'd really appreciate it uh, thanks again God bless and have a good day